Good afternoon, everybody. I still see some people coming in, so we'll just give it a couple moments before we start. All right. Well, thank you everyone for joining us for today's Windward webinar. My name is Jennifer, and I'll be your moderator for today's presentation. At the end of the presentation, we will have some time for questions, so if you could write them into the question box, we will answer them at the end. Anything that we can't answer during the presentation, we can answer afterwards, or you can email support at windwardsoftware.com and uh, have a support te technician answer your question. Today, our topic is touch screen setup, which is a great topic. Um, our presenter today is Den Michael. He's one of our newer software technicians. And uh, without further ado, let's uh, get started. All right. So um, thank you very much, um, Jennifer. Good afternoon, everyone. Again, welcome to our webinar for today. I am Den Michael, and we will be talking about the touchscreen setup and how to edit it. Edit it. Okay. So to begin, what we are going to discuss today is where to find the touchscreen setup and how to edit the touchscreen setup in System 5. So touchscreens provide improved accessibility, navigation, and ease of use in our business transactions. System 5 also has a touchscreen support, and we will discuss it further um, during this webinar. All right. So in order for you to find where your touchscreen setup is, you can go to your set setup wizard from your menu, setup tools, and then from the setup wizard menu, you can navigate to the point of sale devices and then the touchscreen support. So let's try that one out in my demo. All right, so you can find your touchscreen setup by going to your menu, setup tools, and then setup wizard. All right, let's just give it a couple of seconds. All right, so from your setup wizard window, you can go to your point of sale devices and then the touch screen support. All right, so now you have three possible options in editing your um, touch screen layout. So from here, you can enable the touch screen support for the particular terminal that you are using. You can also enable the touch screen login. So this is when you try to log in and you want to enable the touch screen setup or the touch screen interface. You can also enable the touch screen numeric keypad whenever you log in to system five or when you try to edit an invoice. You can also use the touch screen interface when editing the existing invoices that you have in the system. So this makes the, the touch screen interface as the default whenever you would try to open or edit existing invoices. So in editing your touchscreen layout, um, I mean your interface, you can also view this one by doing the quick sale, by opening the quick sale button rather. So this is your touchscreen interface. All right, so in my demo, this is how my touchscreen interface looks and in your own um, system, you can actually edit this one. All right. So from here, you have two choices. You can edit the global layout. So the global layout is the default layout for, for all of your workstations under your system. And you can also create your own local layout. So this is the customized layout for the current terminal that you are currently using. You can also delete your local layout if you have one so that you can use the global layout in your current workstation. All right, so in this webinar, we're going to edit the global layout. All right, so once you click the edit global layout button, you will be under the touchscreen designer window. From here, editing your layout is straightforward. But first, let's discuss the primary regions for your touchscreen interface. 
All right, so your touchscreen interface is actually made up of three primary regions. The, the top portion is made up of the WW Quick Cache Top layout. The bottom portion, this one over here, is made up of the WW Quick Cache Bottom layout. And the right hand side of your interface is made up of the WW Quick Cache Right um, layout. All right, so let's test that one out in my demo. All right, so from here, you can select the layout that you wish to edit. So for example, you wish to edit the quick cache top region for your interface here, um, touchscreen interface. So as you can see, these are the buttons that are available in, the, in my quick cache top um, layout. So from here, you can select the layout that you wish to edit and then move the buttons located in the layout. So in this case, these are the buttons. Add new buttons or edit existing ones. So in, or in order for you to move buttons, all you need to do is to just click or select the button and then drag it to wherever you wish to place it. In order to add new buttons, all you need to do is to just press this new button over here and it should create a new button for you. So from here, you can also um, edit the caption. So in this case, I'll just put in accounts receivable or AR. You can select the color for your button. You can also edit the font for your button. All right. Okay, let's try another font. Okay, you can also select the shape for your button. You can select, in this case, the default is rectangle, but you can also select circle, rounded rectangle, or if you want, you can also select no border. You can also edit the size for your button. You can edit the width. So the numbers here represents the square tiles in your interface. So in this case, we can select two a width of two and a height of one, or you can also just edit this to your liking. We also have built-in pictures, which you can use. All right, you can select it from the picture, um, scroll down menu. All right, but we're not gonna use it for now. Okay, and now you can also select or edit the action that your specific button can um, achieve. All right, for example, if you want to add the number one for this particular button, you can select the keystroke. All right, and let's try it out in the quick sale interface. All right, so there is our button now, our new button, which is part of the quick cash top layout. If you select the button, notice that the number one appears in your item number. All right. So we'll change um, the use for this particular button now. We can also select um, add another button. All right. In order to select a specific part number that we want to immediately navigate to. So let's test that one out. All right, so for example, you have a best seller item that you want to quickly add to your um, touchscreen interface. You can do so as well here, all right. Okay, so if we're gonna save this one, and then try to test it in the demo. Once you click that particular button, it will add, all right, you can select the price, that particular item immediately to the system. Okay. All right. You can also select a special action for your particular button. Okay, so now 
we are going to test out changing the invoice type for your quick cash setup or your touch screen in case that you want to change the invoice type for example into accounts receivable all right let's test it out um, we're going to add the special action of changing the invoice type into an accounts receivable to the AR button. Okay. All right. So once you've entered or click the AR button, it will prompt the name of the customer. Okay. So let's assume that you have the customer now. It will notice that from a C invoice, the invoice type has now been changed into an accounts receivable invoice. All right. You can also use um, the button, any button in your layout in order to navigate to a specific layout that you have created. All right. So, for example, you wish to have you have added your own customized layout. So you can add your custom layout by selecting the new blank layout here and adding the buttons um, that you want to add. So for example, let's add a new layout. Let's name it test. Okay, so this is your new layout. You can add new buttons over here and so on. In this case, I have created a specific layout called the bedding plants. All right. So these particular buttons are added and they represent a part number in my um, demo. All right. So let's go back to the quick cache top where our navigation button is located. All right. So if you want to navigate to a new button, you can select navigate over here and then just select the layout that you wish to navigate to. In this case, it's the bedding plants. And you can also open this in, an, in a new window. So a new window will pop up. You can also edit or customize the size of the window by selecting new. OK, so we're going to try to select the test. Uh, we're going to try to create a new window. We'll name it the test window. And then you can also resize the window that you have created. You can move wherever you want to place it. All right. And then once you're finished customizing your window, you can hit on close. All right. So let's test out how this uh, works in your touchscreen interface. All right. So let's go back to the quick sale. So once you've hit the test button, a new pop-up will occur or will pop up. And then your layout that you have created is going to be um, shown in your touchscreen interface. All of the buttons in that layout will also be shown. And then you can select the item that you wish to add. All right. So once you've added all of the buttons that you wish to add in your layout, once you've also edited the way the layout that you'd like to change or to modify, you can hit on save and all of your changes are gonna be saved to your system. And that is how you edit the touchscreen interface. And that is where you find the touchscreen interface as well. Okay. At this point, um, this is the end of my presentation. Um, we, are, we will now um, welcome all um, questions. And while you are um, typing your questions, I would encourage you to please visit windwardsoftware.com slash webinars in order for you to sign up for future webinars or view previously recorded webinars in our database. You can also visit our help center at windwardsoftware.com slash help to find all of our available resources. And you can also submit your tickets by going to support 
www.windwardsoftware.com or visit academy.windwardoncloud.com to see all of our training videos as well as create your lesson-based topics. We also have an emergency support webpage. You can visit windwardsoftware.com slash emergency in order for you to submit emergency tickets. And if you need an in-depth guide or assistance with regards to your system, you can contact our professional services at windwardsoftware.com slash professional dash services. All right, so um, we are open to questions now. Thank you very much, um, Jennifer. Thanks, Dan Michael. So we have our first question from Jonathan. He'd like to know if we're able to use a button on the touch screen to add a PO number to an invoice. All right, so I have not um, tested that one out, but okay, let's test it in the demo. Okay, let's add a new button. Okay. Found book, okay. All right, let's see here. Special orders, supervisor override. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, right now, I think there is a need for us to um, study that in depth, um, Jonathan. Um, you can submit a ticket. I would encourage you to submit a ticket to our support web, web page so that we can um, investigate the issue further. And if you need customizations, we can also handle your question. Okay, great, thanks. And then the next one is from Erica. She'd like to know if we can create a button that will automatically add a specific customer, for example, a button called Jane Doe that will automatically make that customer attach to the invoice. All right, so um, we should be able to. Okay, let's see here. Okay, we can try to find a customer here. Check. Okay, so I think it's this one. Let's try it. Okay, we're just going to add it at our quick cache stop. All right, so we can actually change the customer um, that we have. So you can select the customer from this particular window. All right. Um, that's um, okay, so I'm Jennifer. Okay, um, if there's any other questions, please just enter them into the question box. Before we end for the afternoon, I wanted to let you guys know that next Thursday, September 15th, we have a live demonstration um, happening in this space, coordinating service and repairs with Windward System 5. It'll be a demonstration of the service functions within System 5. Um, businesses like outdoor power equipment, rental shops, and home goods stores that do installation service and repairs would be interested in attending. And uh, you can register for that webinar on our website, windwardsoftware.com slash webinars. And then the next week, Thursday, September 22nd, we'll resume our regular webinar schedule and we'll be reviewing some System 5 enhancements. So again, windwardsoftware.com slash webinars, you can register there. Okay, and we have one more question from Jonathan. He's asked, how do you create a second touch screen? Is it the same way? All right, so um, if you want to create a second touch screen, so basically um, there is pos two possible answers to your question, John Jonathan. If you want to add a specific touch screen for your terminal, 
you can create a local layout. So this local layout will be the one which will be followed by your terminal. And if you want to change the um, layout for all of your terminals, you can just select the global layout. So if you also want to edit the layout for your interface, if that is your question, if you want to edit the interface, you want to add a new interface to that one, you can just select or add a new layout over here. All right. You can try it here. And then you can just add the buttons that you'd like to see in that particular interface. You can then select a button from any of the quick cache bottom, quick cache right or quick cache top in order to navigate to that new window. So that new window will open up a new touchscreen interface for you. All right, so um, I think that's it, uh, Jennifer. Okay. Uh, that. Oh, we do have another one just popped in there from Jonathan. Um, he says his greenhouse uses a different layout than his regular store. So would that apply to him? All right. So for that one, Jen um, Jonathan, you can actually add a local layout for your um, greenhouse. You can send us a ticket so that we can review that one in depth and we can customize that to your discretion. All right. Thank you. Okay, excellent, Jonathan. We'll make sure that someone reaches out and gives you a hand with that. Um, and I think with that, we'll end for the day. But like I said, if you have any further questions, just email support at windwardsoftware.com and we'll have a technician help you out with anything that you need. Um, we will see you guys on our next presentation, hopefully next Thursday for the live demo. If not, we'll see you the Thursday after that for our System 5 Enhancements webinar. Have a great day and thank you so much, Den Michael, for your presentation. Thank you, Jennifer, and thank you, everyone. Thank you the, for the participants of our webinar for today. Thank you. Have a great week.